Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 121, best time to buy and sell stock. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I've taken the first example from the Liquid website. So we are given a list of prices and these prices are assigned based on the days. So here days is nothing but the index plus one. That's what I have written here. So I need to select a day. So for example, if I select day one to buy a stock, then I need to pick a different day in future to sell this stock. So for example, if I bought this stock on day one for $7 and I need to check whether I can maximize the $7. So we could actually see here there is no higher price than seven dollars right which means i'm not going to make any profit so whereas if i pick one if i bought the same stock on the day two and if i try to sell in future on day five it's actually six dollars so the actual price i bought is a one dollar but in future if i try to sell that i'm going to sell it for six dollars so six minus one, I'm going to get $5 profit. So that's what we are trying to do here, right? And we need to check only in future dates. So if I buy the stock on day two, I need to maximize my profit by selling it in future days. So I don't have to care about seven here. I just only care about future days. Now we will see how we are going to do this. So here I have two variables. One is a minimum price, which will be infinity at the start. Then I have maximum profit, which will be default. It's going to be zero, right? Now we will start. So first I will pick the first value that is seven. So this is my current value that is seven. Now I need to check whether my minimum price is greater than the current price. Yes, it is greater, right? It's infinity. So I will assign seven as my minimum price at the start. Then I will pick the next price. So now my current value is one. Now I need to check whether my minimum price is greater than my current price. Yes, it is greater, right? Seven greater than one. So my minimum price will be one now. Then I will pick the next value that is five. This is my current value then i need to compare whether minimum price is greater than the current value no it's not greater now i will update my maximum profit now i will take the maximum between the current maximum profit and the difference between current value and the minimum price right so the maximum profit in this case is zero and difference between five and the minimum price one. The current value is five now and the minimum price is one. So if I subtract them, I'm going to get four. So now this is my maximum profit. Four is my maximum profit, right? So I will update my maximum profit. Now I will pick the next element that is three. My current value is three right now. Then I need to check whether my minimum price is greater than my current value. No, it's not greater. Then again, I will update my maximum profit. So I will take max of the current maximum profit that is four and the difference between the current value that is three minus the minimum price that is one. So I'm going to get four comma two. So maximum profit is going to be just the same. Then I will pick the next value. So now my current value is six. Now again, I need to check whether the minimum price is greater than my current value. No, it's not greater. So I will update my maximum profit. So my current maximum profit is four. And so my current value is six and I'm going to subtract the minimum price that is one. I'm going to get five here and I'm going to take max of this. Now I will update maximum profit as five here. So my maximum profit is five. Now I will pick the next value that is four. So my current value is four and I need to check whether my minimum price is greater than my current value. No, it's not greater. Then I will update my maximum profit. So the 
current maximum profit and the difference between the current value and the minimum price that is 1 so I'm going to get 3 here and the maximum profit is not going to change and I'm done with my input array and finally I'm going to return maximum profit that is 5 that's all the problem is and the time complexity is order of n since we iterate through the array once then the space and we are not using any extra space is going to be constant space right now let's dive into the code so before we code and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially i'm going to have minimum price as infinity then my maximum profit will be zero as default then i'm going to iterate through the price list and if my minimum price is greater than my current price that is i then i'm going to update that price as my minimum price else i will update my maximum profit by taking the maximum between the current maximum profit and the difference between the current value and the minimum price right then finally i will return the maximum profit that's all the code is now let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient happy learning keep supporting cheers guys